Okay, so we're on Unit 2, Lesson 3. A biconditional is a single true statement that combines a true conditional and its true converse. A definition is valid if it can be written as a biconditional. And so if something can be written as a biconditional, it's true all the time. So let's look at one that is a true biconditional. So the first statement, and this is your conditional, is if the sum of the two measures of two angles is 180, then the two angles are supplementary. So let's write the converse of that. If two angles are complementary, or sorry, supplementary, then their measures are 180 degrees. Well, we know the first statement is true because if the sum of two angles is 180, then the two angles are supplementary. Then when I flipped it, that's also true. If the two angles are supplementary, then their measures are 180. So since that is true, we can write a third statement that is so. The measures... No, let's do it this way. Two angles are supplementary if and only if. Their measures are 180 degrees. And so the thing that defines a biconditional is the words if and only if. And so the symbol that we write for a biconditional is we still use P and Q, but now instead of one arrow in between, we use the double arrow, which basically shows us that the statement can go both ways. So today in class, or tomorrow in class, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be learning how to write statements as biconditional. So you're going to write an, a, a conditional statement, you're going to write its converse, and if both of those are true, then you're going to write it as a biconditional. The other thing that you're going to be able to do is to, to break apart a biconditional. And so I'm going to show you the two parts, and then we'll practice writing this biconditional in class. So this statement says a ray is an angle bisector if and only if it divides an angle into two congruent angles. And I've misspelled the word two. And so obviously a ray is an angle bisector is our P and divides an angle into two congruent angles is our Q with our if and only if here. So when we're in class together, I'm going to pull, the, pull this apart. We're going to write a conditional and a converse. Since that way, and then we'll know whether or not this was a true biconditional. And it is but we'll discuss that in class.